In a major setback to the armed forces, the government has indicated that it will not alter the rank parity structure that exists between the government and military in the defense ministry. Now, earlier this week, the defense minister had said that he will address this concern after a letter emerged in which the rank equation between military officers and their civilian counterparts seemed to have been altered. This is, in fact, that letter I am referring to. This was a letter which actually made its way to the public domain, and it seemed to indicate uh, and it seemed to indicate a certain order in, uh, in the ranks. And I'm going to talk about this in the moment. But the reason I'm pointing out this particular letter, and it is a letter of the uh, 18th of October, is because it is this letter that prompted the government to issue the reaction that, that we are talking about today. And essentially today, the government has reiterated that as far as rank structure or rank parity between the military and their civilian counterparts in the Ministry of Defense is concerned, there will be no change. So now the Ministry of Defense has stated, it is further clarified that the present reiteration of rank equivalence is only for matters of assigning duties and functional responsibilities. It has no bearing on civilian employees outside these offices of the service headquarters. It is reiterated that there is no change in the rank structure or the status of the armed forces personnel. Now, the armed forces are unlikely to be happy with this, with this decision. A letter earlier this month appeared to have reiterated a decision pertaining to ranks which all three services have disagreed with for several years. So, it, I'm, I, I know it sounds terribly confusing, so let me try and explain what this is all about. Let's just bring up this particular graphic. Now, this is an issue that's been there for more than a decade, but the way it used to work is that in the armed forces civil services, the principal director used to uh, used to start work or engage directly his rank equivalent was a brigadier. But now, according to the clarification which has been issued, and there have been quite a few of them, he or she will work with a major general. The director who comes under the principal director will now work under a brigadier, whereas he or she used to work with a colonel earlier on. A joint director will now work with a colonel, while earlier he or she used to work with a lieutenant colonel ranked officer or, or, or of that same rank in the Army, Air Force or Navy. So in other words, for the armed forces, a colonel is doing what uh, a lieutenant colonel used to do, a brigadier is doing uh, what a colonel used to do, and a major general is doing what a brigadier used to do. And they say, the armed forces say, that this is unacceptable. Why is it unacceptable for the armed forces? And the reason is, that in several letters which the armed forces have referred to, they have said that, look, there is a certain pay parity that exists between officers of different ranks. And therefore, if you earn a certain amount in the civilian side, you need to be equated with an officer who earns that amount of money in the military side. But the government today has said no. We are only making these changes because these are functional requirements in the working of the Defense Ministry. It does not affect your status, it does not affect your respect, it does not affect your rank. But will this be acceptable to the armed forces, both the veteran community and the serving community, many of whom believe that there has been an effort to deliberately downgrade their significance in terms of their parity over between the military and civilians.